Here we go. Hello my friends, welcome to day 1 of the 30 days rank push challenge, where I'm uploading a new ML guide for 30 days straight. To anyone who is new here, in this series, you will learn how each and every item in the game works, and also receive a ton of tips and tricks in my in-depth guides every Monday and Thursday. So you are perfectly prepared, so you are perfectly prepared to finally rank up in the season. First, the 5 shoutouts of the day goes to Park Wusan, Ace Zamora, Oh God, Muhammad, Tajuddin Azin, Tajuddin Az... Tajuddin Azmi, Mr. Nobody and Sir Orion. If you want to have the chance to get a shout out, just write something nice in the comments. I also want to give a special shout out to Dbringer Streams. He's a really awesome dude with awesome videos, especially when you like to play with Sun or Argos, but even when not, he gives out many great tips in general, so make sure to check him out and give him some love. Now let's get into today's topic. We are talking today about all weaknesses from all fighter heroes in the game. Little disclaimer here. I had to cut it down to a few sentences for each hero, otherwise I would have created a one hour monster and spent two weeks only for this one video. But I covered all of the most important things I think. If one of these heroes is your main and you have additional weaknesses you want to share, although this is kinda counterproductive for you I just realized. Uh, anyway, if you want to share it, feel free to do so in the comments. Last quick note, don't forget about the giveaway I run for this challenge. The rules and all information you need you find in the description box below. And the keyword I will mention somewhere in the video. Now let's get into it. All dog. First when he's charging to you, don't panic. Check the map if any allies are nearby. Run towards them so he's getting scared. If no one is there, try to reach your tower. Another tip, avoid split pushing alone as a squishy hero. To counter his burst damage, you can buy twilight armor. The passive prevents that you take any physical damage higher than 900 points. Just be aware of the 4 second cooldown. So make sure to avoid a second attack. Wind of Nature works also very well for marksmen. You become immune to all physical damage for 2 seconds when you activate the skill. Winter Trunction is good as well for mages. You simply freeze once Aldog is about to hit you. Other than that, you should play a hero that has a blink skill so you are able to escape him. Immobile heroes can really have a hard time against him. And as a last tip, aim for a short game. The more stacks he build up, the stronger he gets. Alpha. First, if you play against him on the same lane, you should be able to dominate him fairly easy. As long as he hasn't built his first lifesteal item, his regen ability is still very low. He's also quite weak when you manage to stun him. So make sure you have enough heroes on the team who have stun abilities. If he's getting too strong, buy an anti-heal item if possible. You can buy Sea Halberd for attack speed heroes, Necklace of Durant for mages or Dominance Eyes for tanks. In general, so I don't have to mention it for each and every hero. Whenever you play against a hero who dominates because of an regeneration effect, there should be at best two heroes on the team who buys an anti-heal item. This is the way to take out all of those heroes who uses regen abilities. Alucard. I can almost enter the same text as with Alpha. You can counter his lifesteal abilities easily with anti-heal items. And he's also weak against heroes who can stun him. He's also dependent on his farm. So to weaken him, you can try to interrupt his farm from the get go. And as a last tip, as a squishy hero, you should keep your distance to him and avoid running around alone. Although you should avoid this anyway as a squishy hero. Argus. One big and important thing. When he activate his ult, get the f out of there. There's no point fighting him when you can kill him. Also don't use your skill mindlessly on him. Try to bait out his ult and wait until it's over. Then he becomes much less scary because of the long cooldown. Also try to avoid his second skill, because once he's close to you and you have no escape skill, it becomes very easy for him to pick you up. Badang. <sighs> My first man I ever had, Badang is pretty weak against any heroes who have many blink skills. As long as he's not jumping on you from a bush, he has no chance of catching you. So when playing against a Badang, stay away from bushes. Also he is easily countered by Franco, Kaja or Barats, who all can cancel his ult, what makes him completely useless. This is in general his biggest weakness. Without his ult, he becomes a sitting duck. As squishy hero, you should either use flicker or Aegis to be able to survive his ult. And lastly, avoid any walls. When he knocks you against a wall, you get stunned. His fist also explodes when hitting a wall, what increases his damage massively. I have another last tip, but only do that when you have quick reactions. If you manage to bait out his second skill, he becomes an easy target. Because as mentioned, his damage is only strong with walls. But really, only do that if you're comfortable enough that you're not getting caught. Belmont. First, avoid his swing. This shouldn't be a problem though, since he is quite immobile. 
Next, he's weak against any heroes who can just shoot him down from a safe distance. Next, he's weak against any heroes who can shoot him down from a far distance. Examples are Leslie or Layla. Heroes who can cancel his second skill. Examples are Vale or Gwenivu's knockup effect. Nana's transformation effect. Aurora's freeze effect. Or the suppression effect from Franco, for example. And again, buy an anti heal item if he starts to become too strong. Bane. First, if you play in the early game against him, Make sure to dodge his skills as good as possible. I wouldn't go onto the same lane with a weak early game hero, because you're just getting dominated. The longer the game goes, the weaker he becomes. Make use of his lack of escape skills. And keep your towers safe. He can push through and tower really quickly, so really take care of them. Then you shouldn't have any problems against Bane. Cho. First, going into a 1v1 against him is for most heroes a bad idea. He's one of the strongest heroes when it comes to this. Only do this with high burst damage heroes. He's also not the strongest in the early game, so you can take him out of the game early on when playing with an hero who have a strong early game. Also, when you go into the late game, he becomes much less scary because his skills are so single targeted that he has difficulties picking out his victims and ganks. Dyroth. There's only one important thing to keep in mind against him. Make sure to avoid his skills. This shouldn't be that difficult because of the lack of his CC skills. He also doesn't sustain as much as other fighters. I think these are the reasons why he is rarely played at the moment. Freya. Similar to Argus, if she uses her ult, run. She can cut you down easily when you get too close to her. Make sure to stun her before engaging against her. Also, she's weak in the early game. So you can take her out of the game if you use a hero who has a strong early game. Gwen of you. First, I wouldn't use a hero without a blink skill against her on the same lane. You will get knocked up around the whole time. It's important to dodge a second skill. That's actually not that difficult if you have quick reflexes. If you don't have them, make sure to run around unpredictable, even when clearing the wave. Being able to dodge a second skill will make it easy to play against her. Other than that, she also doesn't sustain as much as other fighters, so you can quite easily pick her up. Hilda. Never, ever fight her in the bush. With her regeneration and shield, it becomes almost impossible to win a 1v1 against her. Also, she's super strong in the early game, so avoid 1v1 confrontations with her. The longer the game goes, the weaker she becomes, because both her regen and damage is becoming weaker compared to other heroes. Jawhead. First, avoid him in the early game. Most heroes can compete with him in the early game. Make sure to have minions or jungle creeps around you. His missiles are attacking everything randomly, so like this, you can avoid much of his damage. Never go near the enemy's tower. If he can throw you into it, you are doomed. When he locks onto you with his ult, try to get into your tower or near your teammates with a flicker for example. Then his ult can really backfire on him. And lastly, once you reach the late game, he becomes much less scary because in gangs he can't focus a single target anymore. Giveaway. I think now is a good point in the video to talk about the giveaway secret code for today. There were some people who were confused about my rules, so I tried to make it as easy as I can and give you the full life tutorial so you see exactly how to enter the giveaway. The secret code for today's video is ALDOC. So what you have to do to enter the giveaway is to click on this link in the description that leads you to the site JEET. You click on enter now and then choose the correct date and title of the video. There you enter the keyword of the day, so ALDOC, and press continue. I get of course this little funny message. But for you, the box where you entered the correct code should become blue now. That means you successfully entered the giveaway. Each and every day, there will be a new secret code. I'm revealing this in every day's new video, so you can enter the giveaway up to 30 times. Now, let's continue. Kaja. One of his biggest weaknesses are that his cooldowns are really long. So if Kaja used his ult, don't be shy to attack him, if you have the opportunity. Next, stay away from towers when he is near. If he pulls you into it, it's over. Unless you're a tank, maybe. Also be aware that he is one of only three heroes who have a suppress effect. The other two are Franco and Barretts. His ult can't be cancelled by any CC removal. Also, CC immunity doesn't apply for suppress effects. For example, if you use Badang's ult, you become immune to CC effects. But if Kaja would use his ult on you, he would cancel your ult with it. And last, I would recommend that if you're going against him on the same lane, so the XP lane most likely, you should choose a hero who has a strong early game and is not too squishy. My favorite against him is Jawhead. Colored. First, he's another super strong early game hero. The damage of his first skill is just insane without items. So at all costs, avoid it in the early game. He can swing up to three times, but stops when he's not hitting any unit. So most colored players will also go for minions to further extend their first skill. Secondly, when he's regenerating, you can cancel it with any stun effect. 
avoiding his ult is important as well, but shouldn't be such a big problem. Lastly, the fate of all strong early game heroes apply to him as well. Strong early game means weak late game and vice versa. Lapu Lapu. First, avoid getting hit by his twin blades. They make a good amount of damage in the early game already, so you either want to be far away enough to not get hit, sidestep it or close enough where you can't get hit with it, but you should only be close to him when you want to attack him of course. In close combat, he's one of the strongest fighters. If you play a squishy hero, I would choose one with a blink skill. If you can't get away from him while he's using his ult, you're most likely dead. And purify is not enough here, because his ult cooldown is very short. Also during his slashes from his ult, he's immune to CC effects. Another thing you should keep in mind. Leo Moore. First and most obvious, be really careful around him when he's using his horse. This is the time where he can become really scary. Once his ult is over however, he becomes an easy target. So like with other heroes before, run while his ult is active and take him out while it's on cooldown. Or burst him down before he can use it. The cooldown of his ult is long as well by the way. So as long as you're careful around him while he's in ult form, he shouldn't become a big problem for you. Martyrs. First, he's weak in the early game. Again, use it to your advantage. Next and most importantly, make sure to dodge his combo. This is an easy task against most Martyrs players, with heroes who have blink skills. Last, he doesn't sustain a lot, so if someone in your team has a hero with high burst damage, he can be shut down easily. Marshall. Her biggest strength is the ability to push a whole lane through in no time, or take the turtle or lord. So whenever you play against a Marsha, really take care of the objectives. This is the most important thing you can do against her. Other than that, when she has three full health, blah, blah, when she has three full health buff, 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 better just wait until it drops when she's using her skills and then take her out quickly. Also facing her in the 1v1 is not the best idea either. That's where she's strong. In the gank on the other hand, she's much weaker than most of the other heroes in the game. Mensatar. He is an awesome hero to counter those kind of heroes who heavily relies on blink skills because he can trap them in his ult. So obviously you should avoid being trapped into it at all costs. Always make sure to avoid his first skill, that is basically a shot of Franco hook. Also try to make use of his low mobility. Paquito. As squishy hero, you should try to stay out of his range. While he is strong in close range, he has big problems when it comes to long range heroes. So to everyone who uses Layla, it's your time to shine. He is also vulnerable to stun effects, so either shoot him down from a far distance or stun him before engaging and make sure to beat him down before he can fight back. Fulvius. I think his ult is his biggest weakness. While he can follow you anywhere when you use the blink skill, you can just run towards your teammates or lure him into a trap. Then he's pretty much useless I think. If you're low, you can also just avoid using a blink skill. Then he can't follow you anymore. There's a reason why he's one of the least picked heroes at the moment, despite he's one of the newest heroes. Maybe the buff on him will change it. Roger. What you can do to stop him is stunning him. When he's stunned, it's quite easy to take him down. He's also not the strongest in the early game, so if he's the jungler, you can interrupt his farm early on, especially when he doesn't have the blue buff, because he needs quite a lot of mana for his skills. Ruby. First, you should avoid playing a hero, which is really affected heavily by CC effects. Examples are Farsa or Odette, because Ruby can interrupt their ults too easily, or heroes like Fanny or Gushin, who she can catch easily. She's also another hero who has a weak early game, so make sure to use it against her. Also it's better to fight her in a 1v1 instead of a big gank, because then her lifesteal abilities are much lower, compared to when she can steal life from multiple enemies. And lastly, stay away from enemies towers when she's near, otherwise you get pulled into it and die miserably. 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 I don't think you pronounce it like this. Silvana. When you play against her, it's the most important that you have the ability to interrupt a second skill. This is the main source of her damage. So if you can take that away from her, it becomes much easier to play against her. Shoom. Right now, the Monkey King is really scary and one of the most banned heroes in the game. So does he even have any weaknesses at the moment? What I think you can do against him at the moment is counter pick him. Counter picks are for example heroes who make good AoE burst damage. Examples are Odette or Claude. Using a hero with good lifesteal abilities is also super effective against him because you can use his clones to restore your HP. Examples are Fanny or Alpha. If you want to know more about this topic, check out the Bringers video after this one. He made a whole video dedicated He made a whole video dedicated to this topic and could cover many more things than I ever could in a video about all fighters. Terisla. To be good against Terisla, simply avoid his attacks. As long as you don't run headless into him and let yourself beat down, you shouldn't have big problems against him. 
He's another really underperforming hero at the moment. Thamus. Similar to Terisla, simply avoid his attacks. Since he only have slow effects, it shouldn't be a difficult task to do so. He really can have a hard time against any heroes with blink skills. X Mark. His biggest weakness will become the nerf he is receiving from Moonton. Other than that, make sure to not reach the highest temperature st temperature state. Make sure to not reach the highest temperature state. Then you will receive true damage from his first skill and let him restore either his armor or energy. Next, have a strong late game hero in the team. While Xbox is super strong in the early and mid game, he falls off the cliff in the late game. Using long ranged heroes against him is another effective way to play against him. You can destroy his armor from a far distance, which disables him from using his ult. You zone. First, since his regen ability is really strong, make sure to have anti heal items in your team. He is also vulnerable to stun effects and burst damage because it prevents his lifesteal ability. So your main focus should be preventing his regen abilities. Zilong. And last, we have Zilong. My voice is already at its end. Zilong is easy to take down with burst damage heroes. He is also quite easy to stop with CC effects. His strengths come into play when he is not the single target or to pick up the leftovers. So always be aware that after a gank, a sprinting Zilong could appear, who wants to take down all low HP enemies. Also, don't let him flip into your tower. Now, make sure to enter the secret code to make your first entrance for the giveaway. And check out my other guides or the challenge playlist if you are from the future. See you over there!